Right. We don't want to keep you waiting any longer, so I think we'll get started. And I'm sure people will come in their own time. Distinguished members of the press, we've asked you to join us today because Tov Havali Manor Holding and Tav Yatrim Holding, Tav Investment Holding, which holds the all of the shares of the Tav Construction Company, are here for a share transfer. Uh, Tepe Akfen will be se selling some of its shares to Aeroport de Paris. So we are here today to talk about the details of the sales transfer. On my left hand side, we have the chairman and CEO of Aeroport de Paris, Mr. Pierre Graff. He will be giving you information about Aeroport de Paris. On my right hand side, we have Mr. Hamdi Akun, who is chairman of Akfen and Tav. He will be giving you information about Akfen and this uh, sale. And on my left hand, we have the rector of Bilkent University, who is also the managing director of Bilkent Holding. Mr. Abdullah Atala will give you information from the perspective of Tepe. We're gathered here today in that we're talking about a transaction that involves four companies. So we didn't want to hold separate press conferences so that uh, the information would not get lost in multitude, and we wanted to give you a opportunity to ask all of the questions you want. Aeroport de Paris will own 38% of TAV, and in TAV Inshat or TAV Yatrim Holding, they will be purchasing 49% of shares from Tepe Akfen and Sera. The most important aspect here is that we have a long-term relationship with Aeroport de Paris, we have both competitors, and we have also taken part in some tenders together. Let me give you some examples. I'll start with Libya. In Libya, the Tripoli airport was built by Tav Inshad, and the project management was carried out by Aeroport de Paris on behalf of the Ministry of Transportation. In 2004, we built some hangars for A380s, and the design of that hangar project was carried out by Aeroport de Paris on behalf of Emirates. Uh, TAV is also uh, part of a project in Oman where the project management is carried out by Aeroport de Paris. In addition to that, we manage the Medina uh, airport, and the Hajj terminal is managed by Aeroport de Paris. Um, I'm sure Monsieur Pierre de Graff will give you more information about Aeroport de Paris, but overall, I can tell you that the company manages 25 airports in the world. We have Charles de Gaulle, the seventh largest airport in the world in Paris. In addition to that, we have Le Bougie and Oli airports. And outside of France, they also manage and operate 22 uh, airports. Uh, they operate 13 airports in Mexico. They operate an uh, airport in Africa. We operate Tunisia. They operate Algeria. In Tunisia, we have the Enfida airport, the project of which was prepared by Aeroport de Paris. In currently, we operate the Tbilisi airport. A new runway will be built, and, and it will be designed by Aeroport de Paris. So for years, as I said, we have been on different sides of the table as opponents in tenders, and we've also worked together on many projects. We've operated and managed many projects with them. So the two parties know each other very well the directors, the project managers, they know each other very well. So we work in close cooperation with each other. So Tepe Akfen and Sera will be selling some of their shares to Aeroport de Paris. Uh, our TAV uh, airline is publicly traded, so they will have 38% of the publicly traded company and 49% of the company that's not publicly traded. 
for Tav Havalimanları, we will, uh, they will pay 874 million dollars, and they will pay 49 million dollars for the other company. So we're talking about a total payment of 923 million dollars. Tav Havalimanları is publicly traded, and when we look at the shares, we see that the price per share uh, paid out by the company is 11.3%. Let me give you some information about the management of the company. From now on, there will be a joint control of the management of the company. Aerodopari will have three board members. Tepe and Akfen will have two board members. And I will be one of the board members as the CEO. In addition, there will be four independent members of the board. So we will have a total of 11 board members who will work together to move TAV to even greater heights. Generally speaking, the physical company structure shows that Aeroport de Paris is investing in our company. However, when we look at the social capital and the know-how, we can say that we're creating an airport corporation platform. And this platform manages one of the largest airline airport, excuse me, management portfolios in the world. This is a key partnership. They have slightly more than 120 million passengers, and we have more than 50 million passengers. So uh, the two companies add up to 180 million passengers in 37 airports. This is a very large portfolio indeed. This is, in fact, uh, this is in fact one of the largest airport management platforms. So this uh, cooperation will make a significant co co contribution to the growth of TAV, and we will be working with Aeroport de Paris in many other centers of the world. I'm sure that we will engage in some key project elsewhere, and we think that the joint management of the company will be an asset to all. At this point. I would like to give the floor to the chairman and CEO of Aeroport de Paris, Monsieur Pierre Graff. If you would please put on your headsets, and I will do exactly that. Thank you. Okay. Good morning. Hello, everybody. Thank you. Uh, I'm afraid this is the only thing I can say in Turkish. After this very short start, I'm going to switch to French. I know that there's interpretation in other languages. I would like to start off by saying that myself and my colleagues are extremely happy to see the confidence vested in us. I wanted to start off by specifically pointing this uh, fact. As uh, Mr. Sami Shener himself said, uh, this shared transfer is the end result of a certain logic. This logic is a part of the process or part of the strategy we be, uh, adopt at the international area. As Aeroport de Bari, we always feel that it's important to keep the future in uh, mind. We have to always think about the future. Aeroport de Bari is a large enterprise as it is. However, as much as we can, we try to play an active role in the operation of uh, airports that have a large potential. We're especially interested in investing in air airports uh, in the OECD countries with a big potential. That's why we decided that uh, it would be a historical opportunity to engage in this shale transfer transaction of uh, TAP. We are buying these shares in the spirit of cooperation, in the spirit of partnership. 
we are not seeing ourselves as conquerors. No, this is a transaction of cooperation. We're engaged in the same line of business. We know the profession. As Mr. Shen has said, we know each other. Airport de Paris and Tao have worked together for a long time. The two companies like to work together, and I truly respect the management quality of Tav. There are many airports that Tav operates in Turkey and outside of Turkey, and I see that Tav really operates these airports at a large, at a high standard. So Tav is truly a success story. That's why we feel that it's a pleasure to be able to strengthen our cooperation through this investment. As Mr. Sami Shen has said, the groups are probably going to create a unique example in Turkey. If not unique, it will be one of the two examples of its kind. When you look at airport operators around the world, you see that we will be creating a huge volume that involves 180 million passengers and 37 airports. And if you add the uh, patient, uh, the uh, passengers, excuse me, in Amsterdam, then that adds up to a huge number. Uh, our visibility will increase as a result of this transaction. We will become market leaders in the sector. And we will be able to attract many airlines to our business. Therefore, we feel that we will be changing dimensions, which in itself will be a key step for the future of this profession. We are changing the dimensions of our business. We are changing the scale that we use. So we aim to succeed in a warm spirit of cooperation. We aim to work in cooperation with TAV in our work. Obviously, when we take all of these factors into consideration, we see that uh, we can say that we don't want to change or interrupt uh, any of the things that are going on in TAV. Many things are moving along in a very positive direction at TAV, and we have no intention of interrupting the way these things work. We respect the strategy that TAV uh, adopted so far, we know that it's a successful successful strategy. Um, Sami Shenel will continue to be the chairman of the uh, the chairman. He will maintain his position. The current teams will continue to work. As I said, I wholeheartedly believe that we are engaged in the same profession, so the two companies will definitely create a synergy. We have always worked together we can share best practices. And I'm sure that there's a lot each party can learn from each other in terms of efficiency and best practices. I'm sure that we will be successful in the future thanks to the thousands of opportunity this share transfer will involve. We will hopefully become a global leader. So. As we were making this investment, we had all of these objectives in mind, and we have seen the steps that have been taken so far. We, I would like to thank everyone who, who has been involved in this process so far. I think that this uh, process has been managed extremely efficiently. The investors, their consultants, have ensured that this transaction uh, becomes a very elegant transaction. I'm not sure what you know or how much you know about Aeroport de Paris. Uh, the company uh, operates Charles de Gaulle, Orly, and Le Bouget. People seem to forget about Le Bouget Airport. When Lindbergh passed the, crossed the Atlantic, he landed in Le Bouget for the first time. Le Bouget is an airport that business travelers use quite often. As you know, Charles de Gaulle Airport is very widely used. It's one of the main hubs uh, in Europe. Likewise, Orly in Paris is a key airport. Orly is used for largely European and North African flights. <coughs> so our airports in Paris are doing well. We are a private enterprise from a legal perspective, so we have freedom of movement. We have freedom of movement as long as we meet the interests of the company. This transaction has been uh, 
welcomed by the board of directors of Airport de Paris. And throughout the process, the board and shareholders have given their full support to these transactions. I, uh, I de Paris are doing f well because Paris is in a very attractive position, geographically speaking. We have some historical yet high quality airports. We have no problems with the runways. It's usually difficult to build, to construct a new runway. However, in Paris, we haven't really felt such a need for a long time. However, we do invest in modernizing the terminals and in increasing their capacity. We're almost done with these investments. As Sani Shena said, we also operate some airports outside of France. We're either the majority shareholders or members of a consortium in other countries. And there are some airports, such as the airport in Algeria, that we operate only. So in total, Airport de Paris and TAV will be operating 37 airports, and we will be serving 180 million passengers. And this excludes Amsterdam. All right, so this is all I have to say. And should you have any questions, I'll gladly try to answer your questions. Thank you for listening to me. And once more, allow me to end by saying that we're very proud and happy to <laughs> We're very glad and happy to be a party to this transaction. Thank you very much, Mr. Pierre Graf. I'd like to give the floor to Professor Abdullah Atalar. He is a member of the TAV board. He will continue to serve as a TAV board member. I am Abdullah Atalar. I'm the rector of Bilkent University. And I'm also a managing director of Bilkent Holding, which Bilkent University owns. Bilkent University is Turkey's first foundation university. Its founder is Professor Ihsan Doğramacı. Back in the 1940s, he attended Harvard University in the USA. And at the time, he looked at and learned about what we call foundation universities, that is, universities that are not run for profit. So he learned about those structures in the USA back then, and he was determined to set up such a university here in Turkey. There was a constitutional amendment which allowed foundations to set up universities in Turkey. After this amendment, he set up Bilkent University in 1984. There is a historical Anatolian tradition. It dates back from the time of the Seljuks. When a madrasa or school was built, they always built a hotel and a bathing house, a hammam right next to it. So the hotel and the hammam generated money to pay for the school. So this transition continues at uh, Bilkent University. Professor Ihsan Doğramacı established some companies that would generate revenues for the university before he actually set up the university. So he set up what we call an endowment or the wakfiye. The private universities in the USA have their own endowments. So the endowments generate money which pay for the expenses of the university. In the current structure of Big Kent University, we have quite a large number of companies, all of which are owned 100% by Big Kent University. You're fa I'm sure familiar with many of these companies. We have, we have Tepe Inşat, one of Turkey's largest construction companies. We have one of Turkey's largest uh, furniture chains, Tepe Home. We have shopping centers. There's Meteksan, Tepe Security, Bilkent Hotel, Sports International. All of these are enterprises that are wholly owned by Bilkent Holding. 
So Bill Kent Holding, and in turn, the university itself owns all of these companies. We also have some uh, affiliates and subsidiaries, and TAV is one of the subsidiaries that we are the most proud of. IDO, the Istanbul sea bus operator company, is another uh, subsidiary of the group. So uh, our structure is unique in many ways. When I tell the rectors in the USA about this, they can't believe their ears. You, you will not find many universities that uh, wholly own such a large number of companies. The endowment of our university is composed of companies. The revenues generated by these companies are transferred to the university on an annual basis. So the objective of these, this endowment is to make Bilkent University even more successful. As you know, Bilkent University has been named as the top university in Turkey by many independent assessors, the Times Higher Education, QS, and other internationally acknowledged organizations have declared Bilkent the best university in Turkey. Of course, the university's financial resources are to be thanked for this. In addition to that, we have a select group of students as well as a very distinguished faculty. And in order to maintain this position and to further enhance this position, the endowment needs to be strengthened even further. In the Turkish economy, there are ups and downs. The companies are not able to allocate the same amount of money to the university. When there's an economic downturn, it's difficult to uh, provide the same level of support. So the university aims at diversifying its endowments in order to ensure uh, inflow of money. So our companies are largely diversified. After the sale, we will generate more income, which will be used for investment diversification purposes. The overall objective is to make Bilkent University and its endowment even stronger than it currently is. Bilkent University has been a pioneer in Turkey in many issues. Let me give you some examples which may be interesting. Turkey's first email was sent out of Bilkent University in 1987. Turkey's first website is that of Bilkent University. Back then, Turkey's Google used to be Bilkent University's web page. When a web, new web page was set up, the links were always put into Bilkent's website. This is back in 1993 when the internet was not so popular. As I've said, Tav is one of our key investments that we are very proud of. As the rector of the university, I can say that we are all very proud of Tav's strength right now. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Sami Shener, as well as the employees of TAV who have brought it to its current position. I would also like to thank Hamdi Akun and the employees of Akfen, with whom we've been working in close cooperation over the years. <laughs> Excuse my French, I'm sure it, after some work it will get better. I'm sure that we will be working in close cooperation with Aeroport de Paris, and I'm sure that we will be carrying TAV to greater heights. Thank you very much.
Hocamıza çok teşekkür ediyoruz. Şimdi de e Thank you very much professor. Now I would like to uh, give the floor to Mr. Hamdi Akın, uh, chairman of the board of Akfen. Uh, but before that I would like to say that Hamdi Akın is going to stay as the chairman of the board uh, of uh, TAV and I will continue to be the CEO and the chairman of the executive committee. Thank you very much, Sunny. In fact, there isn't much I'm going to say. Yes, uh, there is no change in the management. Uh, it is going to remain the same. It's just, uh, I mean, we just have a new partner coming in. I think that would be the summary. Um, I think uh, this is like the, our oldest daughter getting married. And, uh, and we are happy to uh, we are happy to have this marriage from within the family because I was not actually willing to give away my daughter to another family uh, because well we know each other very well these two companies and uh, and uh, we have been uh, when we work together it, it we, we had uh, we obtained more synergy more uh, we did better jobs and this is going to be a very good uh, <coughs> company a very good relationship and this new couple are going to have beautiful kids and therefore uh, Turkey France uh, when they give hand to hand uh, with the political uh, support uh, there is nothing we cannot do so uh, I believe that this is not only a business uh, cooperation, it is a political cooperation as well, and we are beginning to get the results already. So, after this deal, we as ACFEN, we will continue our investments. We will continue investing in infrastructure, as you know. In Turkey, we are investing in infrastructure, and uh, we, are, we are going to continue our investments in new privatization areas. Uh, growth and more employment is one of our priorities. And in that respect, we TAV currently has 25, 26,000 uh, employees. And I'm sure we are going to hit the figure 50,000 staff. And uh, we are proud of this. Therefore, we as ACFEN, we will continue in uh, developing new businesses. In TAV, in fact, this is our sixth exit in TAV. First of all, in the initial IPO, we had, uh, before IPO, we had three, five percent sales. Mm -hmm. And then the fourth one we had uh, during IPO. and. And then 15% to Goldman Sachs, 15%. Uh, so this is the sixth, uh, uh, sixth time we're selling shares, but we're still in. So uh, this is a good company, Tav. And uh, I am sure, I have no doubt that this is going to be successful. Uh, when we come to thanking, in fact, I would like to thank Isani, who has worked night and day, uh, to all of his team members. I would like to thank them wholeheartedly, because this is a very good uh, cooperation, very good to can, starting from Ali Kantor, uh, Abdullah Atalar, of the Tepe Group. Yes, we had very good partnership. I mean, our most serious discussion wouldn't have lasted more than two minutes. So th this, yes, it's nice. Thank you. Thank you, Hamdi. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, dear colleagues, I would like to thank once again to Tepe, Akfen, and uh, Tau's uh, staff, uh, my 
co-workers. Uh, it's thanks to their efforts that we came to today. And I would like to thank Aéroport de Paris because oh, they have seen this development and uh, in us and they have invested in us. I am very happy and proud of this. Now we are going to leave the floor to you uh, for your questions. You can ask any questions to any one of us. Uh, but please, uh, please just tell us who you want to ask the question to. Good morning. My name is Julia Güler from Hurriyet newspaper. But before I begin, I would like to ask uh, the first question to Sani Bey. Uh, what is the uh, what is the uh, shareholding structure now? I mean, who has what percentage? 38% goes to Aéroport de Paris, 8% Tepe, 8% Akfen, 2% Sera, 3.5% Kuwait Investment Authority, 40% 40 40.3% is publicly traded shares in Tau construction Tau construction is also an important uh, company 20.5% 20, 20 Akfen 25.5% Tepe 5% Sera and 49% I report the Party, of course. It's, it's the minority as a minority shareholder. <laughs> Still minority. <laughs> okay. Now I would like to ask the question to Hamdi Bey because now he has his oldest uh, daughter getting married. What else I could say? <laughs> well, uh, it's uh, so. Uh, you have this kind of proud sorrow in your eyes. Well, it's not easy. It's not easy. And uh, even for someone who is uh, used to buying and selling so much, but selling, uh, this is a very good company. It's a very successful company. Uh, my, my, uh, well, actually, uh, we, we are we are happy. I mean, we're enjoying it uh, because uh, we enjoy it because uh, we have uh, our tissues uh, actually matching one another with our new partner. And uh, during during this deal, uh, we didn't cause us any difficulties. Of course. Of course, we negotiated, we made bargaining. Of course, we had documents uh, in and out. Uh, we had lawyers actually quarreling with one another. But, but uh, there was nothing uh, problematic. And many problems were resolved before e we even knew about them. Therefore, I would like to thank them very much. And I would like to wish them uh, success in their first venture in Turkey. Uh, I reported. Paris is a very big company. It's going to grow bigger. And TAV is also going to grow. And TAV, uh, hopefully, is going to uh, get to the same level as Aéroport de Paris. It's a, it's a very good deal from whichever way you look at it. Now, Sunny Bay, uh, the journalists, expert journalists, warned us saying that uh, you have to ask what was the shareholder structure before it was 26.1 akfen 26.1 tepe 4% uh, sera and the others were the same thank you so i would like to ask a few questions uh, to monsieur graf uh, the first question is, since when you wanted to enter into Turkish market? And uh, of course, buying TAV does not necessarily mean entering into the Turkish market, but it is a company based in Turkey and acting regionally. But in a way, you are also becoming active in the Turkish market. 
and uh, there were many other uh, interested parties and uh, the competition among uh, the other uh, other interested groups uh, to what extent this affected the bargaining another question is now that you entered into Turkish market how do you think the political relations between Turkey and France will affect because it is a period where this is not uh, the greatest period actually yes thank you now since when we wanted to enter into Turkish market well this is now how we look at it and is it working translation is coming mm -hmm. all right uh, when you are managing a company a public company like Aeroport de Paris uh, then you have to watch the interests of the company the, the company's interests and uh, the interest uh, of the company is to find additional resources to keep uh, growing and in doing that uh, you, you had to you join forces with some partners and get stronger and just like everybody we were looking for we were monitoring uh, the airports market and we know Tav for a long time we know them well and in fact it is a blossoming uh, business enterprise so uh, many shareholders uh, wanted to, to buy uh, therefore we expressed our interest so so then we had negotiations etc you said you enter into Turkish market that's not how we look at it this is there's a strategy there's a strategy that has been set by Tav and this is composed of the following um, uh, buying uh, operations from abroad and growing and growing every year and this is a right strategy this is correct and we and this has been proven and we were actually we were actually uh, in competition with them and when we were competing we have seen how professional they were so uh, this is a strategy and we will be very happy to be working in Turkey and uh, that is, is a there's a company that uh, knows that can that shows uh, that it knows very well and uh, we want to be with this and you you talked about support of course we didn't know our competitors i mean other competitors uh, we don't know who they were we know only one but uh, this is not how we work uh, we we wanted uh, to make the best uh, evaluation uh, valuation of the company there are techniques of doing that and this is our job actually and we made uh, this calculation maybe we are doing this better than the others I don't know uh, so so uh, we made a valuation uh, of the company with the information available and uh, we tried to bring about the the, the, the best value possible and then we made our offer as Sani Bay mentioned uh, we said uh, right from the beginning that uh, we don't want to be there to be the uh, majority but we just wanted to develop our partnership and this shows itself uh, in, in the equality of management uh, there are three companies uh, and then for independent members and Sani Bay is is the is going to continue to be the head of the executive committee so the, the decisions are concrete so so actually looking at this way uh, we didn't actually mind competition political issues yes it's not the brightest period right uh, however This is such a uh, share takeover, uh, which is purely business, and it has nothing to do with politics. And uh, Tau is a publicly traded company, uh, like just uh, like uh, Aeroport de Paris. They are publicly traded private companies, 
And uh, this transfer of shares has been realized in a very transparent manner. And this is just a commercial uh, asset sales. And uh, many things can happen despite certain negative developments, of course. Dunia newspaper. I would like to ask this question to Pierre uh, Graf. Uh, 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 second question is about Amsterdam. How are you going to add uh, Amsterdam? Oui, sur, sur Amsterdam, c'est très simple. Il se trouve que nous avons. Amsterdam, mais c'est laissé Choc Colai. We have an industrial deal with the airport of Amsterdam. As you know, in Western Europe, there are four big hubs, uh, Paris, Frankfurt, London, and Amsterdam. And we have a cooperation with uh, Amsterdam airport uh, industrially and, and, and also capital-based uh, because uh, I report that Paris bought some shares of Schiphol uh, airports and I uh, and uh, there is, therefore, there is a uh, relationship between uh, in a way of exchanging of capital. So, so there is an industrial uh, relationship agreement, and uh, we have some joint ventures. This is uh, this is very compatible with our deal with Tau. Of course, uh, the deal we have with Amsterdam is different because there we have 8% of the shares. Uh, however, uh, there are other other actions uh, that we do with jointly with uh, Amsterdam Airport, uh, like best practices, uh, like uh, joint purchasing, like exchange of staff, and it's going on for the last two, three years. It's very functional. It's very useful. Uh, uh, cooperation. Why? The reason is simple. We are doing the same job, uh, and and uh, the reason why we do this cooperation with Amsterdam is uh, w that we can get stronger by doing this, and uh, we have the same approach when we approached uh, Tav. So this experience is uh, this is an experience for us, and uh, like uh, with this, we can. We can coordinate many airports. When you say 192 million passengers in Amsterdam, uh, we're talking about 50, 55 million passengers, and that is a big airport. That's uh, so we are actually a, a leader in the market. The other issue is the issue of the uh, securities board, uh, but there is going to be a joint management. Uh, therefore, I don't think they will have any call. Uh, we talked with them last night. Uh, we calculated the passengers. Are we number one? Are we number two? And actually, they have 8% uh, share in Amsterdam. If you add it, it they become the largest airport platform manager, uh, otherwise it's the second. So this is how you look at it, yes. Iena, Iena. But they are all, they have only airports in, in, in Mexico and in Spain. Uh, they are not like us, uh, but both of them are open and transparent companies. Uh, we should not be boasting, saying that we are the largest in the world. Uh, but, but, but if you add Amsterdam, this is the situation, number one. And other questions? Bugün newspaper, Servet Ergil. I have a few questions. My first question goes to Hamdi Bey and Abdullah Bey. Uh, first of all, you will have new resources coming into your companies. I mean, is this money going to come into your companies, and how are you going to make use of this? And another important question is uh, maybe Mr. Graf can be in a better position to answer. Uh, in Tau Airport's holdings, there are a big number of employees. And how will this new partnership affect uh, the status of the employees? In which way? Another question to Mr. Graf. Uh, this cooperation is going to create a synergy, you said. And 
And what will be the first uh, basis of that? Uh, I mean, what will be the first steps, joint uh, projects, concrete projects? What will they be? Another question to Sami Bey this time. And in Tao's uh, logo, there is a Tepe Akven TA, and there will be another A here, or, or, or is it going to stay the same? Well, last question first. There will be no change in the logo. If Tepe and Akfen uh, wants to exit uh, in the future, that's another issue. But now uh, we have we keep the same logo. Yes, uh, let me reply the Akfen side. Actually, what we wanted to create financing. That's the reason why we made this deal. <coughs> and with this new finance uh, financing, we are going to continue our investments. And as I said before, uh, there will be privatizations and there will be other opportunities. Uh, but uh, as a result, we are going to uh, continue working the Mersin port. Uh, there are hotel investments. There's, uh, there are energy investments, all speed. And, and then there are other consortium in airports. So we are following privatizations closely, and uh, we are going to make use of this resource in such investments. Yes, I would like to talk, uh, say, um, the following on behalf of Bilkent Holding. We have about uh, 13,000 uh, students, and about 4,000 of them are fully have full scholarships. And at least uh, more than half of all of the students have some sort of scholarship. So these in the revenues uh, will help us diversify our endowments, and uh, they will help our endowments have a better structure. And uh, we will be able to give more scholars scholarships to a bigger number of students in the future. Now, uh, there were two questions for me uh, with regards to employees. That was an important question. Thank you very much for that. Uh, my answer is no. Of course, the employees, the number of employees will not change. And as I said just a while ago, uh, the team that has been working so far is a good team, and therefore we are not uh, going to chop them off. So and as you know, within a group, <clears throat> and uh, the employees, uh, actually, actually, the shareholders uh, do not take decisions. Uh, the management take uh, decisions, uh, takes decisions uh, regarding uh, the financial issues and other operational issues. Therefore, uh, there is no change in that respect. And why would there be? Uh, because it's already a good company. And where will we start? Uh, we will start in a modest way. We will set up the uh, board of directors, first of all. And then after completing all of these, uh, then, because as you know, uh, Tao has to continue its operations. And then we are going to do the necessary meetings and take strategic decisions. And you didn't ask the question, but I would like to answer uh, the logo issue. The logo. We should not change the logo if there is a, if there is no long term because Tav is a trademark. It's a brand uh, well known in the airport operation industry. It's well known by people, so it shouldn't be changed. I mean, it it has a value, just like Aeroport de Paris as a brand. It's it's also a well known brand. Erjan Ersoy, Bloomberg News Agency. I would like to ask this uh, second question to Mr. Uh, two questions to Mr. Uh, Graf. <coughs> In this uh, purchasing, you uh, actually have given like 35 percent premium above the market value. Why did you give this high figure? Because it seemed to me rather expensive, rather high. I know. I would like to know the reason. Second question is, you said that you intend to invest in the OECD region. Are you intending to do this investments with TAV or separately as Aeroport de Paris? Thank you. <coughs>
Evet, teşekkür. Yes, thank you very much. Why is there is this markup? Uh, you're saying that it's high. What we did is uh, we, we made our calculations, uh, we made a valuation, and we have identified uh, the, 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 uh, the fair value uh, of the company. And uh, here, we we are trying to do this uh, as seriously as possible. And we have also calculated that this investment is going to pay back. And we have, if we have calculated well, it is a markup which is, uh, which is pertinent to market examples. Are we going to do all of these investments with Tau? It's a good question. Now, Tau's strategy at the moment is a, an opening strategy, opening a road. And we are supporting this strategy because this strategy, uh, we believe that this strategy is a functioning one. It's a successful one. Of course, there are many countries uh, that Tau is in a good position. And in these, uh, candy, in these countries, we want uh, Tau to have the lead. And there are other countries where uh, we are present at, at present. And in these types of countries, we believe that Aeroport Pari will continue to work. And of course, other than that, we are going to uh, talk among ourselves uh, investments that need to be made. And we are trying to make use of these opportunities. But uh, but the, in the countries where TAV is present, uh, in countries where its geopolitical strategy effect is obvious, we are going to give the lead to TAV and Aeroport de Paris will remain in the secondary position in such countries. My name is Orhan Ichin. Air TV. First of all, I would like to ask this uh, question uh, as someone who is familiar to the invest, uh, industry. Uh, I congratulate you for undersigning this important deal. Uh, I have two questions. Uh, you will have 15 member board. Do you have a, a term of duty of these uh, for the board? I mean, how many uh, years will each director will work? And uh, the other uh, issue is uh, in the n recent years, uh, your uh, build operate transfer uh, contract is coming to an end. Uh, how did you agree with your new partner about this? Uh, and the last question is, <coughs> Uh, that uh, Aeroport de Paris uh, that Mr. Graf is leading, they have activities in highways too, and, and will Tav be involved in that? No. Uh, well, let me start with the third uh, third uh, question. Aeroport de Paris has no activities in the, in in uh, highways, motorways. They are only active in airports, but. Uh, the uh, board of directors, according to the new commercial code, will be elected for three years. But according to our agreement, uh, as long as we're together, the 11 members will continue as they are. Um, in, in, in the coming year, uh, only Istanbul's uh, lease uh, agreement is coming to an end. For 2021, only Istanbul is coming to an end. The others still have a way to go. But until 2021, uh, until a new tender is uh, going to uh, be made, uh, I have a commitment not to leave the company until that time. My question to Mr. Graf. In the coming years, there is a new airport planned for Istanbul. And can this partnership be viewed in that perspective as well? I mean, undersigning such a project uh, with Tau, 
you wanted this and you wanted to grow stronger with Tau for this project? I'm not uh, in the best position to talk about this uh, project, uh, the project in Turkey. It's not me. Uh, of course, I, we have some information about this in our hand. Uh, this third airport, the building of this airport is going, is not going to be within the coming 10 years. Uh, therefore, we will have time to think about this. Yes, if this comes on to, uh, agenda, we are going to think about that. Uh, well, we have time to talk about this strategic issue. And as I said, uh, I am not in a position uh, to answer this question in the best manner. Uh, but of course, we have the same issue in Paris. For the last 15 years, uh, we're talking about uh, another airport, building another airport, a third one in Paris. And uh, many people uh, oppose this, and, and I think I think we kept Rossi and others, and uh, they are operated very well. Well, let me add that uh, yes, there yes people talk about a third airport uh, in Istanbul. If it is going to be in form in the form of a privatization, we are going to be in. And if you have one of your partners, uh, a company like Aeroport de Paris, we will be there. So it, it can be build up rate transfer, just building it. Of course, as Tav Inshat, we are one of the most important candidates for this. Uh, of course, we have this accumulation in Istanbul, and we are not going to waste it. My dear colleagues, uh, we are going to have investors uh, meeting after this. Can I have the last questions? I'm Ufuk Orjan from Watan Daily. When I look at the partnership structure after the share transfer, I see that 38% of the shares will be owned by the French company, and about 40% of the company is already publicly traded. So if the company were to buy more purchases from the stock exchange, then the partnership structure of the French company could theoretically go up to over 51%. Is there a condition in the contract that regulates the partnership structure? According to our current agreement, there are some lockups. There are many protective measures. All of these will be up on our website, so you should feel free to look, about, look at our website. Of course, we have measures to maintain and protect the current structure from the perspective of all parties involved. Other questions? No? Oh, is there's one question in the back? Yes, there's one question in the back, and this will be the final question. Well, I have a similar question. When I look at the breakdown of the shares, uh, maybe this question goes to Mr. Graf. You you seem to have a similar management structure, sharing of the management with such a share. Well, let, let me try to explain this. When we started this share transfer process, we had some conditions that we would be part of the management, etc. So our objective is to ensure that Tape Akfan Sara and Aeroport de Body always maintains a share of over 50%. This is the whole structure. The whole design is based on maintaining a, a share of over f uh, 50%. I would also like to take the opportunity to thank Credit Suisse, our bank, who helped us in this process. Likewise, Pekin and Bayer and are taking law offices in this process. And Aeroport de Paris worked with JP Morgan, and they also worked with Pekin and Pekin for their legal services. Tav, and its employees have worked day and night for the past six months. We're also in the process of making a huge Izmir investment, so I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of my colleagues who have helped us in this process.